So now we have the full frame. This is how it looks like. To enhance its stability, we shall add a piece of timber in the middle. Next, we are now going to make the base of the solar dryer. In order to make the base, we need three of the two by one inch timber. The timber has to be cut to fit within the frame of the solar dryer. Okay. Then we, uh, we cut some notches to fit the, the, the timber. Then hold the timber together or onto the frame using nails. Next, Next, we are going to create an air inlet space. The space between here and here should not be more than 10 inches or less than 5 inches. Then we cover the air inlet space using a shade net. This will allow air to enter into the solar dryer and also the air then enables the food to dry evenly because it distributes the heat. Next, we lay the papyrus mat. This will also help to prevent heat loss. If you don't have a papyrus mat, you can use coffee hat or soda, without which the solar dryer will not be able to retain heat. So Cut the mat to fit within the frame of the solar dryer. and use the nails to hold the mat firm to the base. Next, Next is to paint the iron sheets black. This also helps to enhance heat absorption. We recommend that you use oil paint because it sticks to the sheet, whereas the water paint easily fades out. Alternatively, you can use black iron sheets that are sold in the market. But if you don't have iron sheets, you can use a strong black polythene sheet, but it will not produce or it will not absorb as much heat as the iron sheet would. Or if you don't have all of those, you can slab uh, with concrete and then paint it black. When the, iron, when the paint is dry, you lay the iron sheets onto the base of the solar dryer and attach with nails. We are Next, we create the roof of the solar dryer. For this, we shall use the two by one timber. We measure it to fit within the frame of the solar dryer 
and then we attach it using nails. To enhance its stability, we cut out a piece of wood at the top of the stand so that the, the roof sits well onto the, 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 the stand. As you can see, the space between here and there is a bit wide. It's advisable to provide some reinforcement using timber to, to, to provide support. Next, we make the drying rack holders. This is the best where the, the, the drying racks, or you can call them trays, where they will sit on. Next, we create an air outlet space in the same way that we created the inlet. This is the space where air and vapor can escape out of the solar dryer. It will prevent vapor from condensing and falling back onto the food. And then we cover it with a shed net. Please note that we use some pins for, for attaching the shed net onto the, the, the frame because they have a small surface area and will not easily tear the net. <laughs> 